Hey guys, well I'm climbing this grain bin for the 12th time today. I uh, just wanted to take this time to say hey, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Morning. Hope everybody had a good Labor Day. Just getting the uh, GoPro set up for the time lapse. Uh, just like the last video, uh, there'll be a time lapse with a bin progress at the end of the video. Although it is nine o'clock and the bin guys aren't here, so um, hopefully there's progress to show. Swipe a battery out of there. Uh, yeah, hopefully the guys get here, get that thing going up in the air. Let's see if we can get three or four rings on it today, but we'll see. And we also got a Sea Consultants Field Day happening today. We'll probably film some of that. If you guys aren't farmers, you might not know what a field day is, but it's basically just a uh, meeting where seed company has you out and they kind of go over what's going on, what's the new seed varieties and all that kind of stuff. We host it every year at our farm, so it's always a good time. And right now we're in the time lapse, so camera's right up there. See if you can find me in the time lapse at the end of the video. Now, while we're on the time lapse subject, hope you guys liked the time lapse at the end of the last one. One thing I'm considering doing, I intend to make a time lapse every day of the bin construction and every day that we're putting the leg in. And then I'm going to compile all that footage and just make basically a dedicated time lapse um, after the whole project's complete. So let me know if you guys think that's a good idea. And, uh, you know, I think it'd be kind of cool. Rolling fancy. Pretty much ready for the uh, field day. Got the building all cleaned out, plots ready to go. Got someone else joining us in the YouTube community. Andy Detweiler's here, so he came down for the field day. So hang out with him a little bit before it starts. Yeah, George showed up too. We're gonna take a little uh, drive, show Andy around a little bit. We got we got almost two hours before the plot even starts. So. Drive around giving Andy the grand tour. Him and him and George are hitting it off pretty well. So. <laughs> Hop around and look at some equipment real quick. Andy, you look pretty good by that yellow equipment. Well, you know, I'm kind of digging on this sprayer. Mm -hmm. It's red. It I'm is. not a red person, but it'd be, I'd like it. Andy, couldn't interest you in a nice, worn out red planter, could I? No, I think I'm good on planters right now. I, would, I do want a new planter, but I think I want something maybe a year newer than this. Just a year? Just a year. Okay. We could change the Maybe two quick. years. Okay. Ah, eh, shoot. We're out. <laughs> there you go. There you go. How you doing? Good. No, no. I'm 36. Uh, these both have the same male on them. Mm -hmm. On that one. Okay. Yeah. Ours have a lot of big goat talk going on. Head uh, to the homestead. Hey. Where's your coat? Did you get your free coat? You want some leftovers? I already got them. There you go. Well, Andy, it was fun. Thanks for coming down. Have a safe trip back. I'm going to, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. and Looking forward to the next time, man. Yep. Somewhere. You guys solving world problems? Yes. Yeah. Got to. We really just do this for the leftovers. Alright guys, climbing up the grain bin here to get the GoPro. And we had a great time at the field day. Uh, it was really cool of Andy to come down and hang out with him today. And all, field day's always been one of my favorite times. Of the, always look forward to it every year. Um, all the neighbors come out. It's usually a good time. But uh, let's go ahead and roll this video into tomorrow. And hopefully we can see this grain bin go up some more. Hey, good morning. Stop over at the grain bin. I'm going to try that GoPro thing again. Hopefully that thing doesn't freeze uh, today, but come over and check out the bin. They did get two rings on it yesterday, it looks like. They had to do some work to the top of it. Uh, some of them panels were bent up there, they straightened them out. So that and that, put that ring on there, that wind ring. So hard to tell what they'll get done today. Hopefully they get some more progress, but there is starting to be less parts laying out here, so that's good. Different angle today. Anybody else hate doing office work? No. That's over with now. Lunch time. Left over pork chops. So yesterday, whenever uh, Andy and George and I were driving around, we found some cucumber and some corn. We need to go spray that. Cucumber can get pretty messy if you don't take care of it. 
Uh, I need to get this off the back of the Kubota, the spreader. But I got just a little bit of turnips to spread, uh, just a little bit left over. I'm going to throw in some ends of some fields I can get to. So I'll do that real quick. I don't need that. Almost forgot dessert. Looks like they got two more rings on top of the, or under the bin. Check to make sure our GoPro's working. I'd be so mad if I think we're working again. Well, it looks like it did just freeze, but I think it froze within the last half hour because uh, you did see him put the last ring on it. So just have to come back and check it every couple hours, I guess. It's such a pain in the butt. Hope you guys really like these time lapses. Now we need to get down there really quick without falling. All right, Ben guys, they just went to lunch. I completely forgot. I have a doctor's appointment at one o'clock. It's twelve thirty, so so the cover crops have to wait till I get back, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, back over here to the Kubota. Got some help with me. A uh, little man just got out of school, so we're gonna throw these cover crops in here and get to it. Good job. I uh, brought the Kubota down here. We're going to put some cover crops in this field. This is that last field I planted that I got rained out of. Didn't get it all the way planted. So, I mean, right here, there's some there's some bare ground here. So, put them cover crops on it. This ground's saturated, so they should grow. Is this field. What, and I finish it? Yeah. I don't know. Let's go. You know, these beans were planted, I think, July 3rd. They really look pretty good. I'm thoroughly surprised it did rain like an inch while I was trying to plant this field. They all look like they come up pretty well surprisingly. So pretty, pretty happy with that. That does look like, I mean, there's a few spots where there's maybe a bean or two missing. I mean, there's several. Like I said, I was planting this in the pouring rain. I'm just surprised they're here. They've got a good, good height to them, putting on quite a bit of pods. So overall, not bad. Hold up. Now these cover crops, spreading them with the Kubota, there's no monitor, there's no GPS. You don't know if you're really getting a huge, like very good coverage, but I mean, they're just cover crops, it's not as huge of a deal. But I mean, I'm just kind of guessing whenever I'm going back and forth. And we're done. I had to go celebrate a, celebrate a birthday party, but we're back. We gotta do our nightly camera collecting. Looks like the crew got the bin up to nine rings high, which is the height of these other bins. So. We made some progress today. I think they got three rings on it. So, I don't know. They should uh, have the actual structure of it done this week, I guess. So, come back tomorrow and Friday. I gotta prehydrate before I go up the ladder. Do this. Subscribe. Hey, I think this thing finally worked good. Heck yeah, it did. Now, unfortunately, you guys did miss some action while I was at the doctor and at a birthday party. Dad's been pretty busy today, and I didn't give him a camera, so I might as well just tell you about it since you're not going to get to watch it. He did some bulldozing today. Had to clean out some. Uh, had a couple uh, trees get inside of a creek, start wallowing out pretty bad, so he went and took care of that. What else did he do? Dad also came over here, shot a couple grades. We've got to put a drainage tile in over there. Um, I think we're going to go that way with the water. We might have to go that way with the water. That's what he was shooting grab. I haven't talked to him about that yet. But all of our water is running off these green bins, sloped that way, so we got to do something with that. And then if you didn't watch last year's harvest uh, vlog, constantly fighting water over to the other grain bins. So we're gonna try to run some last minute tile to help take care of that too. But um, That did all happen while I was out lollygagging around, so you guys did miss it. But um, 
see what we can get into tomorrow thanks for watching this video um if you haven't follow us on instagram and twitter on instagram um posting stories pretty much daily and pictures of the bend going up so you can track the progress there and uh, we're also on facebook uh, facebook's brown farms instagram is brian's farm videos uh thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video